Hello and welcome to stage 5 of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This is the final stage. Now, yesterday I said I was parking my car. Well, that isn't entirely true. I did do one race on yesterday's M totals because I looked and there was enough room for it. And this race I don't like. Really slippery car at the beginning of the race because a car that starts with very little grip is way worse than a car that has degrading grip. So there was no way I was going to win this race and I didn't really bother to try. Well, I did try, but I mean, just look at that. And I did, I did try it twice and I thought, you know what? Forget it. It's just not worth it. I don't know if it's possible and I'm not going to find out. So this one, I'll still do more than the requirement, but just get through this one. You know, the car doesn't feel normal till these tires are out of up around 85, 90%. And that's when you start to feel like you can drive it normally. Whoa! That was quite the tag. Well, a tag that big is actually going to hurt my grip a little bit. But, oh well. Not a very long race. This one, it'll be over soon. And, ah, try to learn something. See if we can sharpen up some breaking points. I don't know if we're going to have any more stages that say no off track. So... Boy, I was expecting to get a nice draft. I just didn't expect that he was going to be so slow getting into the gas. But that's what we have to contend with. Not much of a deal. And what was that? That was very strange. Yeah, these guys are driving incredibly slow. So far, I greatly disagree with this event being classified as hard. I would classify this event as easy, if not very easy but that's that's me based on my driving abilities so i really didn't find anything about this hard so i don't know where that comes from you know what maybe i could have won this race if i pushed it harder oh well i'm not too worried about it so you'll notice this that there you see i still have my m totals from yesterday but going forward here from this point forward we're on a new day for me and you'll see that in my M dollar totals coming up very soon. Now, finish in at least fifth place? No thank you. By the way, what is Valtteri doing here? He's like driving drunk. Of course he's not. Uh, the computer, the AI, is driving our car horribly until we get control. So I'm sure, sure that Valtteri was very happy to get control of this car. Because here you go, he's driving it much better than that AI ever could. So this one, yeah, I want to win. Why not? Might as well win. It's I like to win, like I said, uh, in the other stages. And if you didn't watch them, I notice a lot of people watch stage one and then stage five of when I'm doing these things. They kind of skip the middle stages. So let's just do a recap. For this entire event, I have done no bot slowing. I have done no bot management. I've been running as hard as I can the whole time, trying to win every single race. And I only bought tuning when I was forced to. So I didn't buy a bunch of tuning right on day one. I've been going through this with the minimum. And I just wanted to see how hard is it going to get if I just push it all the time. Because if you finish with big leads or finish higher than you need to, generally it's going to get more difficult. So in these required PR events, meaning we have to buy tuning, I decided I'm going to just blast it. Let's see if I can make this event really difficult. And it has not become difficult for me at all. Because even here, I mean, there's no, there's no winning required. If trying to win this stage, that is difficult. Uh, that requires some aggressive, clean driving. But we don't have to win this stage. So, that's about the recap. I chose my Mercedes. Um, currently, I have no driver level ups and no principal level ups. And my, again, my tuning's at the minimum. Actually here I'm 0 0.2 over just because the way the, the tuning went, but I'm gonna try to have it perfectly matched for as we get into the next tunings that will be required soon. So I'm in third place. I thought I just saw, yep, there's second. Don't know how far away Hamilton's gonna be. So that is the big question because just because I'm in third place right now with second in sight doesn't mean I can get first. But I'm going to try, and I'm going to try not to do aggressive off-track cutting. Like right here, you could aggressively take this and cut it off-track. 
but I'm not. What I just did there, you could definitely do in a time trial in this game without any penalties at all. In fact, you could push it further than I did. I, I didn't maximize that. Although people will be saying, oh, you cut the corners. Well, no, we got to play within the rules of this game. That's, that's what the rules are. Okay, so Hamilton had a massive lead on me. But the next section after this is where the bots do deplorably. They do very, very poorly in that section. So that's where I anticipate making my gains. Take this full throttle. Little bit of braking. Full throttle. Stay full throttle through this. And then I'm braking later than I would in the 2019 cars for this section. I think I could possibly stay full throttle here if I got the trajectory just right, but Hamilton's in sight. No problem winning this race now. I'll take it a little bit easy. Little bit of a tag. But come on, he should have known I was there. Come on, Hamilton. All right. So there we go. Happy to win that race was not a requirement, but I did it anyways. Now, I'll be adding up everything that I've been earning and sharing that at the end of this video. Hold position fifth in this race. Ah, I don't like that. Get in some drafting, watch the fuel consumption. Well, because I have to finish fifth, I might as well do that. So I'll probably just doing be doing a lot of lift and coasting rather than getting on the brakes a lot. Like at the start here, I might just blast by some guys. Woo woo, scrapey scrape. There goes some paint on the side of my Mercedes. I want to get up to, uh, let's see here, Leclerc. I don't know if I'll draft off him or I'll get myself right up into fifth place. Oh, you know what? Drafting down this straight is a nice place to draft. So yeah, I'll set that up. Get all my drafting in and then pass him at the end of this straight. All right, let's get hooked up here. Nice drafting. Look at that fuel go down. Down it goes. All right, set up an overtake. I'll do an inside pass here, break a little bit late, so Leclerc should give me the lane. Ooh, overshot it. But that stayed clean. And I don't need to catch Vettel, but I could. I just can't overtake him. But you'll see, I I'm gonna be lifting, lifting early. So if you know where your braking points are, you're lifting earlier than that. And tapping the brakes like I just did there if you have to. More lifting. I've only, I'm only doing this race once, and so I don't want to run out of fuel. I don't like races where I am not allowed to win. I understand, you know, sometimes uh, in real racing, we definitely have targets like that sometimes. Sometimes it's due to fuel, sometimes it's due to tires, where there's limitations on how far you can move in a certain section of racing or a certain group of laps. Lots of fuel left over. I'm pretty sure I could have driven that aggressively and it would not have mattered. But there we go. Okay, so I think we're getting to tuning time. Let's see here. Yeah, I think it's this is probably tuning time. Usually that happens. All right. So I have to watch a bunch of ads. I skipped all that. I've maxed out my tuning. You see that? Still not enough. So we have to spend gold. I'm not going to spend it on the principal. I'll spend it on my driver because that gets me closer to the Invitational Series. I'm not wasting gold on my principal. Sorry, man. No disrespect. Okay. So with that being said, uh, now I can keep earning PR with this car. And whenever I want to go for the Invitational Series, I can. But that's substantially more gold. Uh, like I've said in other stages during this, I'm extremely stingy with my gold. If you were looking there, you saw I had over 10,000. And to a lot of people, that sounds crazy. But I first finished this game back in 2016. So that means that the majority of cars, I haven't had to buy them and then upgrade them. I just had to upgrade them. And I do a ridiculous amount of endurance racing. And we're not talking going 20, 30, 50 kilometers. We're talking sometimes going 200, 300, 1,000 kilometers and doing it on bonus fame days or when there's multiple bonus fame events overlapping. So I am very, I've been very aggressive in the past in earning my currency and I'm very stingy in spending it. Well, gold. 
Um, I haven't had a care about R dollars for a long time. And so I'm very, very stingy with my gold. Like there's a lot of cars that I still haven't upgraded all the way. I waited a long time before upgrading my Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo because I was waiting for a sale since that's one of the most expensive cars to upgrade. So I'm strategic with my spending. Oh, I lost it. Well, ah, there's a whole lap to go yet and second place is in front of me. Again, I don't know how far away Hamilton is. Aggressive. No sign of Hamilton. Huh. I'm surprised I'm not seeing those red numbers. Oh, there. Oh, go. Oh, oh, boy. Well, he's a ways away from me. I'm not worried a bit about my time. Time is just totally a non-issue. Oh, wow, does he ever break badly there. Oh, well, this suddenly became no issue at all to catch Hamilton. Okay. New no problem. And then... Like, it's funny because the storylines don't match. They, I guess they assume you're following the storyline, you know, finish in this place, third place, fifth place, eighth place, or whatever. I don't. So I win a race and it says, oh, you are still in third. It's like, no, I'm not. Okay, now this is funny. He's trying to get down to the right because that's where the boss want to drive. Look at this. Look at this fight. I'm not letting him. And I want side draft. Now right here, I'm going to shove him off track. That forces him to pound on the brakes and the race is mine. I was surprised though, those cars were shaking pretty good as he was trying to push me down. Oop, got a little bit loose, might have taken on some damage there. Or I just got sloppy in that corner. I love the purple building, that's so cool. The night racing here is just so amazing, the amount of lights there are. Wow, this would be an awesome track to see in person someday. And still piles of time left over, regardless of my tomfoolery. Gotta have some tomfoolery. So again, I'm doing this with minimum PR. Um, PR is going to vary by car, but the cost is the same. So the Mercedes has higher PR when it has no tuning. So that's why I have to have 126. You might only have to have 125.8 or 9 or 7. Works out to the same thing cost-wise, though. So they made it fair that way. Okay, so we're basically going to have one full lap here to get this done. Not an issue. Now here's the actual question. You see, winning this race is gonna be a joke for me. The actual question is, how many donuts can I do at the end of this race and still win it? That's the actual question. So, I'm gonna drive this very aggressive. Oh, nuts, got tangled up. Hamilton, you just wasted a donut. I love my donuts. Come on, man. Now, okay, well, for some more fun, let's drive forwards while looking backwards. That can get tricky. I'm going to stop that. But at the end of this lap, before I cross the start finish line and win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, I will be doing donuts during a race. Because we don't get victory laps anymore, which is fine. A lot of people hated that anyways, I guess. I don't know. Actually, it's funny. We had some events where you were supposed to do a donut, and it was actually really hard because the game sometimes wasn't counting donuts. And that ended up being a disaster sometimes. That's probably why we don't see that. Because it didn't work sometimes. Well, regardless, I like victory donuts. So coming up very soon, what do we got here? 300 meter lead, 350, four, 450, holy smokes. All right, let's check it out. Okay, there's one donut. And two donuts. Oh my goodness, three donuts. Oh, come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. Get some blocking in. Oh, he's right there. You see that? He's getting some draft. All right. Three donuts was the correct answer. Ding, 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 you win a prize. And that is a new car. Here we see my earnings for this race. And again, I'll be adding up all those earnings, sharing that very soon. For car choice, I have a very specific choice because of what happened in real life. The amazing survival of Grosjean in that horrific crash right through a barrier. The halo saved his life. Good job, guys, with your safety measures. So that's my car of choice this time around. Now let's get into my earnings and costs. You can't finish ahead on this one. Really negative in the M dollars and also negative in the gold. But there we go, another maxed out tuning and another car in the garage. If you liked this video, please press like and please subscribe. Oh, we've got one more thing to do. Revisit this screen that says hard and change that to easy. Thank you for joining me.